Aren't you happy to be in this summit? Yeah, yeah man, it's awesome. How oh, great is this? Everyone is friendly. You look to the left. I got scared last night with uh, someone and we got friends, you know, like, <gasps> okay, isn't it great? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, without any further ado, so that we don't waste much, much, waste much more time, uh, here's a kitty. <laughs> Why not? Okay. And here's the map of Europe. And in this Europe, there's no Peru. I'm not from Peru, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you're from Peru. And you were bad. Who's this shit? You know, like, yeah. I, and you see Peru here? No. That's Portugal. That's where I'm from, you know? Like, and in Portugal, there's a city called Lisbon, Lisboa. So that, that's where I'm from, okay? And this is no Peru. Welcome to Peru. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Never mind. Uh, but if you want to visit, let's say change. I'll go to Peru and mess them up, you know? <laughs> like, oh, he was really from Peru. <laughs> Next. So, we are here to talk about. Member retention. Please don't don't go outside and say, "Hey, I want to talk about retention." You know, like, don't talk about. Say member retention. So member retention. Uh, let's talk a bit before that. It's it's really important to know the people, correct? If you want to keep them interested in your topic in your uh, community, you need to know them. Okay. Uh, in here, I I look at you, and of course, I know everyone because we have the same values, we want to share a community, and I can focus on my topic, on my meetup, on your interests, okay? And if I keep you engaged, you will keep coming, okay? So that's so important to know your people. And before knowing your community itself, you need to know yourself. You need to know your team, correct? You need to know that you're capable of saying, uh, hey, um, this week I cannot work. Um, my schedule is, my boss is on top of me, I cannot help on your, on the next event, can you handle it, you know? And don't do it alone, of course, you need at least your strong arm, arm right arm. And, and another note is, you need to think, well, what can you give to community? If you think, yeah, uh, I'm an Android developer, and I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to teach them about clouds, you know? I don't know about clouds, and I will be really nervous to talk about cloud. But if I talk about Android, it's like, yeah, Kotlin, let's go, man. The energy is different, you know, and you talk about what you want, what you can give. And also, you, it's really important to know who can you reach for help, okay? Uh, okay, I, I don't know about clouds, but I might know someone who can help you with it. So talking about what you can do, what you can give out, it's really helpful to keep users engaged because you transmit this energy. Like, in the beginning, I, I, I'm so happy to be here and just spread over the room. Uh, I yelled without any shame. You know, it's that energy comes through and you need to pass on that energy to your community. Otherwise, it's going to be boring. And no, again, don't do it alone. On um, another note, this is, of course, know your community. This is more than obvious all right you need to know your target in terms of marketing you know like uh, i'm am i going to talk with the elderly i'm going to talk with the youngest who, who are they okay you need to go find them um and of course who will most likely come to your events if you are going to do event in uh, uh wine place you know maybe some posh going to drink some wine if you do it uh, to university you really need to know who are more likely to come to your events. But also, this is the third point, but so important, feedback, correct? Anonymous feedback, ask, mingle around the people, you know? People won't talk with you saying bad things. Most likely they will come, if <laughs> something terrible happen, they will talk with you. But most of the cases they will say, yeah, it was awesome, maybe. But inside it's like, mm, better luck next time, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, but anonymous feedback, uh, ask your uh, regulars, that's something that really helps. Ask your regulars to ask their friends and all, hey, what did they think about it, you know? And it's so important. And yeah, one big difference is here is, are your community students, professionals? Because it's so different in sense of parties and tires. Because if you are talking, talking about professionals uh, and you are doing an, an event at 8 p.m., they probably are tired of eight hours of working with your bo his boss on top of him, like, do this, send that email. 
no one wants to be bothered at 8 p.m. by recruiters or do this or that. You need it to be lighter. When with students, it's like, all good every time. It's just bring beer and yeah, let's go. But uh, it's good because students earlier and you can mess around. It's so fun to do events at the universities, right? It's more lightweight. You People come or not. But still, it's really interesting to see this duality of things. But yeah, I'm talking broader terms. This is really an informal talk, okay? Um, we'll have a moment for Q&A. But I just want to give you an overview of our important topics on user retention. to Keep them interested on your meetups and keep coming, okay? And so, showtime, really. As soon as you stand in front of the audience, it's showtime, okay? Um, we are a different community. We are not formal. Okay, we can say bad words, maybe, not here. They told me not to. <laughs> uh, if I say something, so say duck, 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 okay? <laughs> but um, it's really important to pay attention. Like, you're on stage. People are, are coming here to watch you. You came here to watch me. So you, I need to keep an eye on you. I know you guys are interested. There's this one guy on the phone, and everyone is looking at me. So you're doing a good job. I'm telling that myself. And uh, the tone of voice is important. You know, the in language, the position. You know, I, I cannot talk like this because you will get tired of me. You won't look at me. You know, and if your people are starting to fall asleep, maybe check the room temperature. It can be everything. And again, don't do it alone, because if you are on stage, you need a helping hand uh, on, on, among the people, correct? Say, hey, enough. Oh, duck, duck, duck. No, <laughs> not that. Good. So, and an interesting topic I understood is people don't care about the middle. Okay, they forget. There's something important happening, like a big announcement, and then something other big thing, and they'll forget in the middle. They focus on that thing. So one thing I, um, this is, again, I'm in front of you because I went to other conference. I talk with uh, many of you. I listen and I, this is my conclusion out, out of it, you know, like, and so it's normal to have a keynote and then food. It's normal then to have kitties in the beginning and maybe in the end, maybe, who knows? And also start with a joke. How many times you heard of it, you know, start with a joke, make people interesting, you know, like. Or make, um, uh, for example, let's do an exercise. People, raise your hands now to the air. Come on. Yeah. Uh, so good, so good, so good. Now lower one of your hands. Okay, one hand. And you say, people, this is how you ask questions. <laughs> you know? A joke. You, you can save these little details to use. Uh, meantime, you know, it's just people st raise your hands and that's how you ask joke. Or... Ah, oh, you're so tight, you know, so just release your shoulders, release the jaw, you know? And people are less tense to do things. And if you keep them interesting like this, people will come uh, more often to your talks. I will focus on one example. Uh, I think it's the most common that we do and organize tech talks, right? You invite a speaker, and the speaker talks about 20 minutes, one hour, two hours. Can you guess, talk for two hours. First time speaker, two hours, imagine that. <laughs> oh, sh or 20 minutes talk and 40 minutes uh, of Q&A. 40 minutes Q&A, you know? And there's some, a really big balance to do. And uh, this is a Portuguese saying, you não podes agradar a gregos e troianos. It's funny to hear, you know? I, thought, I know, but this is like, you cannot gr please Greeks and Trojans, you know? Any Greek here? <laughs> Any Trojan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but so, why not both? You know, like, why do why I am saying this is, if you have a tech talk, why not? I've we have reached the conclusion there are three kind of people asking questions: those who interrupt the speaker that are courage enough, like, yeah, I'm going to speak, uh, yeah, and. Um, People who ask on the QA time, okay? And then also those who approach the speaker afterwards. It's so common. So you can mess around with that. So you tell the speaker, 30 minutes of uh, talk, and then we have 10 minutes of um, Q&A, 
But most importantly, stay after the talk. Stay with us, you know, like 30 minutes, enough. And people will get interested. And again, you're on stage. Stage is yours. It's so important that stage is yours. You're in control. And so it's really important in your posture, like positivity. You're here. You're in control. So if someone starts talking about one-on-one -on -one question, there's no problem saying, stop. That's a personal question or one-on-one, -on -one, please talk afterwards. Because you are knowing one person, that's correct. You're knowing this guy. I, he was on the phone. That's why I'm pointing at you. Uh, but, uh, but then again, he's annoying, annoyed, but you have 40 other people's like, yeah, inside you, yeah. Enough, you know, and so important to uh, keep on track. If you say it's 40 minutes event, it has to be 40 minutes it's because people have things to do, even more more importantly, professionals, correct? Uh, they just got out of the job, maybe they have kids waiting. So if you have a 40 minutes event, do it 40 minutes. If you do it like two hours, people won't leave here. It's peer pressure, you know. If you, you know, I don't know your name, if you want to stand up, you will feel pressure to move you're stuck and people you don't want that so that's why it's really hard to pleasure everyone uh, in terms of greek and trojans but you can do a certain mingle of it uh, some small details topics but i'm going to move forward one really the most important question here is in your mind when you are doing uh, uh, an event you have a lot of topics to do you make a lot of pressure under you, right? Like, I need to do this, 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 like 10 topics, you know? And it's important to keep them inside your head only and among your team. Why? Imagine, someone just told you, hey, we have ponies. You know, an amazing pony. Come see the pony. It's such a pleasure to, to see the pony and pet the pony, you know? And then on the same day, you're on the same day, um, I have a... Bad news. The pony is dead. Uh, yeah, he was walking. And then the truck came and... <laughs> just all over. Don't step outside. Be careful. So <laughs> don't mention your dead ponies, what I mean, okay? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> don't mention it. It's awkward for everyone. If the, oh, it, You will forget something. You will put yourself under pressure to do the perfect event, to remember the speaker name, but you will forget the speaker name. You know, you will forget, say, there's some awesome food outside. No problem, okay? Ask for help for your colleagues. Don't do this alone. You know, ask for help. Uh, do mnemonics. But if something goes wrong, it's not... People told me, ah, oh, it's a lie, you're omitting something. But it's not true. It's just don't put the baggage of the responsibility on the community. It's your package. And it's fun also then to, while you mingle, uh, you're talking with the community and say, hey, we had a pony, but it died. It's like horrible. You know, <laughs> then washing the... No, it's... Uh, you can tell those uh, things afterwards. But during the event, no. <laughs> so, um, and so that's why social interactions are key. Are really key to... <laughs> I <laughs> really keys. We just saw the keynotes, right? And uh, she was saying, you need to get in touch. You need to see each other, you know? Because also the communication is 80% uh, body, correct? And for, for, that way, for that reason, let me, I want to do a demo, just a small demo. So um, who wants to come here on stage? Come on, I need a volunteer. Come on, thank you. What's your name? June. June. Yes. June. Yes, June. So, one thing that really annoys me is June. Uh, what's the female name of you, June? Uh, Julia. Julia. So Julia here. I'm a man. And Julia here, uh, I'm going to present myself. I'm saying, hey, Julia, hello. And I do this. Mwah. Mwah. You felt awkward, right? Yeah. Why did you feel awkward? Everyone, it's awkward like this. I don't know Julia, and I'm all, all ready for the kiss. Why? Because the human has like an egg, format egg around you you know, um, uh, frontier, that you need, need to pay tax, you need to pay the toll, okay? Like here, hello, I'm, I'm far away. You're comfortable, you're good. But if I do this, hello, <laughs> it's uncomfortable, right? But if I do like this, hello, Julia, Philip, nice to meet you. Then what, what your badge, oh, so nice, really nice, Julia. And 
this way I approach and it's more comfortable, correct? And one thing really amazing, and you can say that it's not awkward, is you're sitting next to one another, correct? Because since it's an egg, you can stand here. If we, if I say, hello, Julia, oh, are you good? Like this? Are you feeling comfortable? Uncomfortable? Just a bit because I'm talking with you. But it's like, <laughs> but it's closer here, you know, behind, over, the, in this area, there's always a toll to pay. And you, you need to pay in some way, okay? And so don't go for the kiss. Don't go for so respect the personal space, you know. And you can do stand next to me, and you can do something just a smile. Hello, how are you, man? My friend Julian, all good. And then you can put next bit next here, next to me. And you can just say if you don't, if you're feeling awkward, just say hello, and then just position next to her, you know, like you talking. You can talk among ourselves, and it's more comfortable, you know. And if you think, thank you, Julia, a hands of applause to Julia. No, thanks. <laughs> so there are many tricks like this you need to pay attention. And uh, it's really important to pay attention. Because if Julia uh, ha just had a handshake and was kissed, next time she will come around to events, it won't be good. You know, she will tell others. Because there's also a Portuguese saying that is, if something good happens, you tell to one person, your mom, right? Yeah, mom. But if something bad happens, it's like, oh, everyone will know about it. So avoid that. On Twitter, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And um, for that reason, um, like I said, I'm here. I'm really proud to be in front of you. Um, it's take advantage of this opportunity to talk with among ourselves. I, everything I learned was from my helping hands. Hello, Portugal. Yeah. Uh, they are my first critics, you know, like, you forgot something. Duck, duck, and um, <laughs> so it's like accept the critic, um, learn from the other communities, meetups, and all, and you will reach this point. And some resources that, that I want to give you is like the community canvas. This is more broad, okay? But you should really check the community canvas because there's a list of questions you can do, you can answer, and it will really uh, give you understand of your community itself okay um so you, you will find a way to find a purpose of your community you will find even data management where are your information it will make you think and put put on paper many things that you in the end you will end up with a nice plot a nice uh, paper that you can give to the companies when or people who don't know you like you're looking for a invest um a sponsor so, and the sponsor says, who are you? And you just slip the paper, here we are. This is our values, this is our purpose, rules and all. It's really important, really nice. Next, there's also this um, website but about the seven P's of community. Um, it's older than the previous one, but uh, this is just seven questions. If you don't want to go through the 40 questions of the previous one, um, Photobomb. No, I'm just <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, there you go. You were falling asleep and then, yeah, surprise. Uh, surprise. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> next. Um, this book is awesome in the sense of, uh, of course, there's obvious things. If uh, someone is looking at you and with the feet, like, hands crossed, like, mm -hmm, they don't want to talk with you for sure. Just cut. Stop talking with the person. Or even, I found it really difficult. Some thing, I love to talk with people, of course. Talking with them. But some way, I have 50 other participants, you know, and then a guy sucks, sucks with me and he just wants to talk with me. Of course, it's, it's pleasure. And I don't know how to cut the conversation. I feel always comfortable, uncomfortable, right? And those who grab your shoulder, I have one that Slock my shoulder and I couldn't leave it. Get out, you know. And so with this book, I you can s send some messages. You can cross your feet. You can cross your hands. That subtly, without saying a word, people will start being uncomfortable in a good way. Don't fart, please. <laughs> in my egg, you know, like you're my egg. It's my egg. <laughs> Personal space. But still, you, you will find tools that make you help you get to be a better um, community organizer. And for the end, really, I know everyone wants to be a comedian. Uh, 
if you want to be more at ease, more comfortable talking, giving, finding some jokes for your events, read this comedy bible. The, they have a lot. This book has a lot of exercises, and it's quite fun to do. It can be a the fest activity even. And um, yeah, time for more kitty. Yeah. You know, one more kitty. I promise you. I don't lie about everything. Only about the the uh, the pony. But yeah, thanks. That's all. Let's talk about memory retention Q and A. You know, we will have a microphone there for someone who wants to ask any question now. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Welcome. Right,